Please review the current situation of the waste paper market. Uh, currently, uh, the paper market uh, situation is going through a very turbulent time uh, because uh, the energy cost uh, is increasing uh, because of the increase in the coal prices, vice versa, the electrical cost is also going up. In addition to that, uh, there is an acute shortage of waste paper uh, due to international disturbances and of course, uh, you know, the vehicles not coming, I mean the uh, vessels not being uh, shipped on time and not connecting on time. So this has put the industry in a lot of uh, uh, uncharted waters which uh, we have never experienced. So right now the uh, cost of the raw material has gone uh, beyond what 30-40% uh, of what we were seeing and the prices of the waste paper, have, uh, uh, finished paper have also gone to 30-40%. So this has uh, created a bit of a turbulence in the industry as such. So uh, uh, very uncharted waters is what I can tell right now. Paper industry is facing severe difficulty in securing OCC from the European countries as India is a fiber deficient country and because of this industry is not getting the fiber at right time at right pr price. How the industry is managing its daily activities such as production and raw material in context of the acute shortage of the OCC. See, in this condition, uh, those paper mills uh, uh, will be able to survive who actually uh, have a lot of discipline in terms of procuring the raw material. Those mills who don't have discipline in procuring uh, the OCC from Europe or uh, the other grades from the other part of the world, uh, if there is no discipline in procurement, they actually will have a lot of trouble uh, doing it because uh, today if you are producing uh, per se X uh, amount of uh, tonnage in the month, you need to run with an inventory of 2X. So that is putting a burden on your working capital cycle, on your capex everything so uh, if you are able to manage that kind of an inventory then only you will be able to assure the deliveries so there are a lot of mills who are not able to do that and due to which uh, a lot of lot of mills are not able to run full time so we are cutting down on our productions to ensure uh, that uh, you know uh, uh, we have some OCC to at least finish the orders so this is creating a lot of market disruption actually every industry is securing its imported OCC with their own efforts as the OCC is the widely used paper raw material, is it possible to make an association to procure the OCC on central basis? Definitely, definitely it is possible because if you see uh, we, uh, right now India is a fiber deficit country as you already told and uh, the deficiency of the fiber that is we are, that we are fulfilling is by importing the waste paper, uh, waste paper from abroad or the fiber from uh, abroad. But what is happening is that out of that waste paper that we have uh, got from abroad only 30% of it is again coming back to the cycle and 70% is going into landfills or it is being burnt. So uh, what is happening is that uh, per se for, for example uh, uh, the box that come into your house uh, out of that uh, only 30 percent of the boxes actually end up coming to the paper industry and 70 percent actually go into the landfill or the radhiwala who takes it from you uh, doesn't ensure that it comes back to us so it goes into the landfill or it is burnt out so that amount of fiber is lost so at a central level if a policy is formed for collection of the fiber or collection of fiber all kind of fiber be it white grade or brown grade it will definitely help the entire paper industry and our dependency as such on the foreign market for the deficiency of OCC. A large quantity of the finished paper is being exported to the China and other countries and because of this the circular economy of the paper is being broken and India moves towards the fiber deficiency state. There is always an acute shortage of the waste paper as the sold paper doesn't return to the India. How do you suggest to strengthen the circular economy of the paper? The priority of the paper mill is always going to be the local customer only. At least for paper mills who are not, uh, who are inland uh, bound, like uh, paper mills who are in Uttar Pradesh or in down south who don't have port, our priority is always the local market. And uh, on contrary to the market belief, there is very less amount of paper that is now going to China. There was a time four years or three years down the line where a lot of paper used to go to China and that never used to come back to the system. But on contrary, if you look at the data now, very less amount of paper goes to the China and vice versa what 
we are exporting double the uh, quantity of the fiber is what we are importing so as such uh, the, uh, we, we are not draining the fiber but fiber is is being drained because of the practices that we have in our procurement channel or in the channel in which the waste paper comes back to the mill so as i already told that this is not a major factor export today is not a major factor export of paper is not a major factor in fiber deficiency the major factor is our habits of uh, ensuring that the fiber comes back to the system again uh, that is what we need to improve and work on actually nowadays the price of imported occ is touching 400 us dollar per metric ton so what is your analysis for next two month will the price go up or down in the context of the european ban on export of the waste paper to india and the possibility of the lifting of the ban in coming time and its impact in one to two month Uh, see, our projection for next one two months is that uh, there is going to be uh, definitely a fiber shortage. See, even if today the uh, European ban is lifted, per se, uh, it will take two months from whenever it is lifted for that OCC to come into system. So at least if it is lifted today, until the next two months of it, the turmoil is always going to be there, and there is going to be pressure on the local OCC. But yes, once the European ban is lifted, definitely it will substitute some of the uh, pressure which has on the Indian OCC, and the market should stabilize. So for next two months, we uh, Uh, still assume that this market is going to be very volatile uh, the fluctuations in the market are going to be there but post uh, may or uh, sometime in june the market to, should stabilize at some levels uh, and it should continue there after actually so. with the ban being in effect how much price of the paper has increased and how much price of the paper do you see in next three month Uh, see, with the ban being in effect, uh, if, uh, the, with the ban being in effect, I think uh, we have seen the waste paper, uh, the finished paper prices. Uh, what was the what was the price? Uh, uh, I have seen the prices almost have gone up by almost 50 to 60 percent. Finished paper prices have almost already uh, already gone, and I think we have reached the peak. Uh, beyond this, it is not viable for our end customers uh, to sell the boxes, and uh, uh, if they don't get an increase, they will uh, eventually will have to uh, not run the shop because it is not viable for them to take any more losses. So I think we have reached the peak. Maybe uh, one uh, one two rupees from here, uh, it might go upward, but not beyond. That is what I understand. Recently, ICMA has published an advertisement in which they are urging 35 percent increase in their finished product prices from their customer, just to offset the price increase by the paper mills. How do you take this? See, I think uh, they have done the right thing because as long as, long as uh, they don't get an increase from the end customer, they are not going to pay the paper mills. It is only uh, for a certain amount of time that you can bear the burden. Uh, 35 percent. Uh, I am not really sure uh, about the calculations of the uh, of their calculations because there were a lot of raw materials that were involved. They they talked about ink, they talked about uh, starch, they talked about waste paper also. But yes, uh, if, uh, until unless they don't get an increase, it is not viable for them to purchase paper at this price and uh, keep. serving them at the regular prices to the customer so they should definitely get an increase so that the uh, industry is benefited because uh, uh, at the end of the day if my customer is healthy then only i am healthy if my customer is not healthy then how can a paper mill be healthy as well any expansion you are planning sir uh, sir filal uh, looking at this situation we have put everything on halt we want to just see the market where it goes because the metal prices have also shot up exponentially so we want to see where the market goes for another 6 months and then take up some uh, expansion plan any new product you going to launch any new product uh, right now in craft we are looking at lighter gsm segment lighter, lighter gsm, GSM segment uh, what is specification of the lighter gsm uh, we want to make paper from 70 gsm to 110 gsm 70 gsm majorly catering the fluting grade market and the paper bag market thank you, thank you.